If the temperature of the feed air falls below 45 degrees centigrade, an alarm is given, but the system keeps running. Check air temperature in the inlet line. The alarm could be more likely given if air temperature in the inlet line is low. If that is the case, check the flow rate of cooling water for the compressors. If air temperature in the inlet line is not that low, the heater or thermal sensor could be supposedly failed. Leave it as it is in the meantime if the system can be running unhindered. And check the heater after the operation if wires are firmly connected to the terminals in the heater. When oxygen content cannot be lowered to a prescribed level, an alarm is given. The system stops supplying nitrogen gas to the tank, but keeps running. If that happens, check the pressure, temperature, and flow rate of the feed air. Make necessary adjustment on the compressors, the heater, and the flow control valve accordingly. Check also the piping for air leakage. Another possible reason is the failure of oxygen analyzer. Check and calibrate it if necessary. Please contact us if no problem is found with the equipment but the membrane modules are suspected to be defective. An alarm is given when the pressure on deck main line exceeds 14 kPa and the system shut down. Open closed status of masterizer valve during cargo loading operation could have effect on the pressure when it is above 14 kPa. Please check the valve. Check also the main valve and the back pressure regulating valve for their control failure. If the pressure is below 14 kPa but the alarm is given, check the pressure transmitter and the recorder. Check the condition of the system on the graphic panel and reactivate hold the system. An alarm is given when the pressure on deck main line falls below 2.0 kPa despite of operating condition of nitrogen generator system. The alarm doesn't stop the system, but the system keeps running. Check the pressure gauge on deck main line. If the pressure is found fallen while the system is running, check the main valve, the back pressure regulating valve, and the flow control valve for failure. Check also hatch opening of cargo tanks and another valves relating to cargo loading operation depending on the situation the ship is in. If the pressure is found alright but the alarm is given, check the pressure transmitter and the recorder. An alarm is given when the pressure on deck main line falls below 1.0 kPa despite of operating condition of nitrogen generator system. The system keeps running, that interlock signal can be given to cargo pump. Check the pressure gauge on deck main line. If the pressure is found fallen while the system is running, check the main valve, the back pressure regulating valve, and the flow control valve for failure. Check also hatch opening of cargo tanks and another valves relating to cargo loading operation depending on the situation the ship is in. If the pressure is found all right but the alarm is given, check the pressure transmitter and the recorder. The first thing to check is the pressure gauge on deck main line. If the pressure is found properly maintained, then check the pressure transmitter and the recorder. An alarm is given when differential pressure between the inlet and the outlet of filters exceeds 69 kPa or 10 psi. 
but the system keeps running. Clocked filters decline the production efficiency of nitrogen gas. Check and replace the elements in the filters if necessary. If the filters are found all right but the alarm is given, check the differential pressure alarm unit for failure or the piping for air leakage. An alarm is given when the temperature on main line exceeds 65 degrees centigrade and the system shut down. First thing to check is the temperature at membrane inlet and of the feed air. If the temperature is found higher, make an adjustment of temperature on the heater and the compressors respectively. If all these are found all right, then check the thermal sensor. It can be failed. Check the condition of the system on the graphic panel and reactivate whole the system. An alarm is given when the pressure of nitrogen receiver tank exceeds 1.0 MPa. The system stops supplying nitrogen gas to the tank, but keeps running. Nitrogen available lamps flicker while the supply is stopped. The vent valve is switched over to releasing the gas into the air from supplying nitrogen gas into nitrogen receiver tank. If this is left for 5 minutes without N2 supply start on CCR monitor panel pressed, the system automatically shut down. Check a safety valve if the pressure exceeds 1.1 MPa. Check the pressure transmitter if the pressure is below 1.0 MPa. An alarm is given when the pressure of nitrogen receiver tank falls below 0.5 MPa. The system keeps running. First thing to check is open-close status of manual valves. Check the piping also for nitrogen gas leakage. If all these are found all right, then check the pressure transmitter. It can be failed. An alarm is given when a certain amount of a drainage is accumulated in auto drain valve and the system shut down. Check if LED for the valve lights up. Keep the test button pressed for a couple of seconds. It can be failed if it is not activated. Check the valve consulting the instruction manual.